This is Boxing Talk 8576. It's a new era in boxing, man. Wilder, when he won Saturday, I just felt, in my opinion, uh, it, it's a new dawn. It's a dawn of a new era. Uh, Wilder is, um, you know, the first heavyweight, significant heavyweight champion since Shannon Briggs. Um, the Americans, we, we, we were getting dominated, you know, on the heavyweight stage. But Wilder brought it back. But not only that, he brought the uh, the era of boxing in the um, totality, the whole total totality of boxing. I just believe, uh, you know, people like Pacquiao, Mayweather, and Hopkins, those guys, that era is over. Even though they're active fighters, and I said I got respect for those guys, but it's a new era, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's the it was passed to the to the next generation, Keith Thurman, you know, guys like that. Um, you got uh, Garcia, you got uh, Danny Garcia, you got Adrian Broner, you got uh, guys in, in, in that ilk, those young guys, Terrence Crawford, uh, Mikey Garcia, and I just believe these guys are going to be the next carrier carriers of boxing. Um, let me know who you think on that young you know, plateau that, in your opinion, is going to be the uh, the the guy that's going to um, take boxing to the next the next era, and who's going to um, shine, in your opinion? I believe in the welterweight division. I believe Keith Thurman will be the best welterweight within the next year or so. I believe he will have a a, a nice little run at welterweight. I'm not saying he's going to go undefeated, but I believe he will be a a bit, a, 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 a good champion. Uh, I, I think he will fight uh, a lot of fights that people want to see because he seems like he's a competitor that he just want to prove it in the ring and not outside the ring. Um, at 160 pounds, I believe it's uh, Gennady Golovkin. Uh, he said he want to unify all the titles. I'm hoping he have a fight with uh, Miguel Cotto so him and Miguel Cotto can unify the titles. Um Golovkin is a real fight for uh, people out there. That's why it's hard to make a fight with guys that are real fighters. Him and Keith Thurman fall under that same umbrella. They're real fighters. It's hard to get out there and for fighters to say, I want to fight these guys because they know they're in a fight. Um, I just would like, um, i say I probably like about 130 to 140. Some intriguing matchups up in there from 126. To 140, some intriguing, intriguing mat, uh, matchups in there. Santa Cruz and Rigo. I would like to see that fight. You already got um, Danny Garcia and Lamont Peterson fighting. That's a pretty good, intriguing fight. You got Robert Guerrero fighting Keith Thurman. That's a, a a good fight for Keith Thurman for the fans out there that want him to fight a quote unquote name. That'd be a, that. That's a good matchup for him as far as that. But I believe. Keith Thurman should fight somebody in a higher rank because, to me, Guerrero is not all that. In my in my book, he, if he stop or knock out Guerrero, people still going to say he hasn't fought anybody, even though I know a lot of people that I talk to in the YTBC that says if he beats Guerrero, then he deserves a Mayweather fight, which beating Guerrero, to me, in my opinion, don't, don't do anything for uh, Keith Thurman, but just give him another knockout or impressive win on his resume. Um, I, I, Andre Ward, he signed with Rock Nation. I want to see what Andre Ward does. I want Andre Ward to go to 175. I like Andre Ward. I think he did all he needed to do at 168. If Carl Frosch wanted, if we want to do a rematch with Carl Frosch, that's that's all right. That's a fight that I probably will, will like to see intriguing matchup because I think Carl Frosch is maybe uh, got um, you know he he's been winning um, since he lost to uh, Andre Ward and. I, I, but me personally, I want Andre, Andre Ward to go to 175 because it's Kovalev up there and Adonis Stevenson, Pascal. I want to see him fight those guys. You know, uh, get out, get out of 168 because he did everything he wanted to do at 168. Um, I would like to see uh, oh uh, Kovalev, Pascal. That's that's an intriguing matchup too because Pascal uh, brings some athleticism to the ring and maybe he can, you know, what I'm saying, come at. Kovalev from angles that he's not used to. So that's an intriguing matchup, even though, even though I, I got Kovalev still winning that fight. But that's an intriguing, dangerous fight because we never know what Pascal 
is going to show up. That's one of the reasons why I'm not picking Pascal because he get, he's two different fighters. Sometimes he go in there, he's explosive, he's ready to fight, he's hungry, and other times he seems like he just just passive. I I can't trust guys like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, I know everybody excited about the Al Heyman um bringing um fight fighting back to network network TV. Um, I'm like the bottle the the glass for me is half full. It, it should be that way, you know what I'm saying? Who, if you're if you're uh, say that you want to um, bring fans, you know, good matches and intriguing matchups, and you want the fans' money, you should expose these fighters to us more. We should be able to get free fights other than on pay-per-view, and we should get really good fights for free. But um, he's starting good with this card coming up, and we'll see what comes from there. Um, I just like the fact that uh, we got a new trainer on the um, scene with uh, Mark Breland. He do, he's done very well with Wilder. A lot of people said that uh, they wanted to, some questions to be asked uh, about Wilder. I think Wilder answered you know some questions. Uh, he can go rounds. Uh, he can box. Man had a beautiful jab going, um, hooking off the jab. Pretty, pretty, pretty impressive, man. I was impressed. And he's a big, big man, and he showed some stamina because he was throwing some fights. He was throwing some hard punches. It takes a lot, of, a lot out of you to throw hard punches. And yeah, but let me know who you think you know is the next big thing that's coming up this, this for this new era in boxing. And let me know what intriguing matchups you want to see. This is Boxing Talk A five seven six. Is the dawn of a new era. I'm out. And yeah, the round table is back. Rollo Jenkins, Zone Six. We back. We're gonna bring y'all some 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 more conversation, some intriguing conversation, some um some 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 conversation that's gonna get you thinking, some some um in your face. We we are in your face sometimes, uh, with uh boxing talk and bringing information, but that's that's cool. It's, it's just entertainment. This is boxing talk eight five seven six. I'm out.